Alright, I have no idea if this audio is going to record, but regardless, I'm going to record the video. Okay, you saw kick as he switches to Gengar here. Uh, well, I'm just going to go to Zam. He's probably going to Blizzard or uh, Sleep Me. So yeah, he's Sleep Zam, which I can live with. Uh, we'll see what he wants to switch to. Probably just going to Blizzard here. But... I don't want to go to Chansey because it's like, <sighs> sigh. Because it's like he's just gonna, he's gonna freeze me. I can feel the, I can feel the freeze. So Zam, I can live with. Has a sleep fodder. Well, let me pause real quick. All right, people were just making a bunch of noise outside. So, uh. I'm gonna see if he wants to switch or not. He's probably just gonna blizzard. Yeah, he has no reason not to blizzard, so. I could T wave this now. Because I got lucky as shit. And he pushed me back to sleep, but now I can go to Chansey. And uh, start firing off T bolts and stuff. I just wanted to see if he wanted to switch, but there was, there's no reason for him to switch here. And we get Blob versus Blob. So, Chansey. Might as well add uh, Tauros there. Zam. Yeah, my chancy. <laughs> I agree. I agree. 100%. He's probably just going to Ice Beam here. Uh, so I'm just going to Ice Beam him down. And he T-Ways me. So I, c I actually really enjoy that. Because that way I can't get frozen. And I can switch versus his Jinx bed, right? So I think that was a slight misplay on his behalf. Uh, going for that play and so uh, yeah I can just sit here and then like start T bolting him fortunately the the paralysis has uh, come to bite uh, well with his jinx paralyzed he can switch into eggy you know somewhat comfortably so well I could go to my chancy comfortably too so uh, I'm gonna go back to my eggy just so I don't reveal it and then, of course, I get parried. Of course, all right. Snorlax. And then, probably hopping to Jinx, I would assume. That's what I would do. So, I mean, do I want to powder here and just play it safe? And hope he just decides to weaken me, or he hops to Jinx as I go for it, like Psychic and stuff. So, um, I don't think I lose anything by just going for Psychic and just getting Whittle on this chan on Jinx. Yeah, so I get Whittle on that and then I go to Chansey. And then I can go to Rhydon if he wants to go to Lax. <coughs> Fortunately, I'm paired and I can't get up Reflex, which is sad times. So I'm going to Reflect up here. Oh, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get paralyzed. My B. And, uh... Oh, my special fall. I didn't even see that. Alright, well, that's not good. Well, I'm just gonna soft-boiled up here. Hope I don't get parried. And then he can blizzard me down. I think he's used how many blizzards? Okay. Well, I'm just going to T-Bolt him, because uh, I need to uh, weaken him. Hopefully I don't get uh, I don't get a full parried. Ah, nice. That's what I like to see. Alright. Well, these T-Bolts aren't doing much because I got a special drop. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love this gen. But I can weaken him down, and then I need a soft boil here again. Uh, just so I don't... Whoa, alright. I've seen about enough. And then I'm hopping to Lax. Now I gotta I gotta deal with this savage. Alright. I've seen just about enough. Alright, he's hopping to chance I can't see that HP bar. Uh I think it's at 38 still. The thing is, is that I don't want to get countered, so... Ah, 
can't I can't see that. I think that's above. I want to say HP 288 out of 703 is what it looks like. So let me do a quick calc. Let's see. 288 divided by 703 is 40. So I don't believe I can knock him out because 38 is actually kind of a high roll. So yeah, I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to EQ here to um, just make sure that the counter can't come out. That's my that's my thought process because that is a, a high body slam roll. And then yeah, he just soft boils right there. But I do get a crit, which is what I want to see. And then now he actually is in body slam range. Uh, but the thing is, is that I don't I don't know if it's you could say it's worthwhile to just. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna body slam him this time because it, it'll force him to soft boiled, and then it puts a lot of pressure on him. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna. I think he's just gonna soft boiled here again. Like it, I think that's what he has to do. So maybe my body slam could have knocked him out there. I thought he did 33 to like 39. I don't know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep body slamming. Uh, this down and then I just want to play it safe right here in case he does counter up I don't think he has the counter though so uh, we shall we shall see we shall see okay well I end up critting him there but now my lax gets paired but that ends up actually working out uh, pretty solid for me which I mean I don't I don't mind of course I don't mind but now, like, I have mon one mana sleep and three parrot. <laughs> okay, but his Jinx is asleep. No, you need to go away, Skype. So. He, okay, he has his own Aggie here. And then. I don't know. Do I want to go for a freeze? I think. I think I just try and go for a freeze here. Nope, I get parried. And then he's probably he probably wants to boom on uh, on Jinx, so and I'm gonna go for another Blizzard there as he as he hops to his lack, seeing that I'm going to stay in more than likely. So alright, he revealed an Aggie, so I'm gonna write that down and then last is probably like a ride on or golem or something. So the thing is, is that I don't know. Wait, hold on. What health is my egg yet? Two seventy six. I can't really switch in on another slam, so I can. Let me calc this real quick. Can I take a one more body slam? Snorlax versus Snorlax, and then. Actually, if I just boom trade here, I think, well, no, it's doing 24, but that puts it in hyper beam range after another one, so I think just boom trading, but he might hop out to uh, Jinx, which is the thing. That's what I'm worried about. Are you recording? Yes. All right, there we go. All right, this is kind of this is kind of a fifty-fifty right here. Because if I could take out Lax, that the pressure that's on Aggy and my ride on is so is so helped. Like it's no name. Are you booming here? Don't don't tell him any ideas. Don't tell him any ideas. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so 50-50. Do I slam or boom? I think slam is the is the safer play. Nope, he slammed. Crap. 
All right. Well, now I'm in hyper beam range. Uh, we'll see when he wants to go out to, though. I'm going to my right on. Oh, well, well, I can... Oh, he did hyper beam. <sighs> All right, gone. Gone. And then... Uh, he has no reason to stay in here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna body slam right here as he goes to his eggy. Where's my para? Oh, my lord. And then... I can just save Lax as a uh, pivot fodder. Okay, but I got him weakened, though. So I go to my eggy. I'm just gonna sleep powder right here. Actually, no, no, no. He has no reason to not go to Jinx. Well, actually, his Jinx is... No, his Jinx isn't low. Well, I mean, I have Chansey, so... I think I'm alright there. I have Paralyzed Chansey, so I think I just uh, sleep powder right here. And then if he goes to Jinx, then I go to Chansey for, like, free. And then we go back into that scenario. <laughs> oh no, I just I just miss and I get another special drop. Will that be able to take me out there? I can't see my fucking health. 141, what's 141 out of 393? It's 141 divided by 393 equals 35. Um I'm gonna boom this turn. Because I think he's just going to sidekick me down again, predicting Sleep Powder. Actually, his best play is to definitely go to Jinx right there. But with with Lax low, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, with Lax low, I think I'm in a good spot. Yeah, with Lax low and then Jinx doing its thing. And then he has two. Well, he has Tauros as one of his last two, and then... What his other mon is, is what's really worrying me. So I think I'm gonna boom here. <sighs> oh, that was uh, definitely lucky right there. That was definitely lucky. Lucky. Because I knew he was gonna go to Jinx too, but it's like, he didn't go to it the, the last time on the boom. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go for T-Bolt right here. To uh, just... Why are you getting all these special drops? Oh my. Alright, so I'm going to go for another T-Bolt. And now I have to soft boil. Hopefully I don't get the full para. And then... Ah, there we go. There we go. I think his other mon is probably like Starmie or Zam or something. And of course I get full parried. Of course. Alright, now he gets his lax in here for free. Sigh. And now he knows now he knows I have fucking ride on, so I think I just fodder I think I just fodder lax here. Okay, and he's rest lax. Whoa. That's interesting to say the least. I mean rest is alright, but I don't know. Okay. Do I boom here? I think I just boom here. Because, well, he's probably going to Jinx, and then... What does Body Slam do versus Jinx? It does, like, 50, right? Um, yeah, Body Slam does over 50 to Jinx, so he can't go to Jinx there if he wants to keep that. So, basically, something gets boomed on here. Unless I want to be real and, uh... You know, I'm booming. That That doesn't kill? Ooh, rip. Alright. Well, that's okay, though. Because now... Now his right on... Now his lax is low, which takes pressure off of things. Alright, well, now I can just go to right on and go for body slam. Oh, that's unfortunate, though. And then, of course, we get no para. And then, he booms with his Aggie, I think that's fine. Yeah. So I just do this, and then, then I just powder here, and then if he wants to go to, like, Lax, then it's whatever. Yeah, I think I just powder with this, and then 
Hope it hits, because this Eggie should be fucking asleep. So, he's going to lax, though, yeah, and then I just psychic here. Actually, no, I'm going to double powder. Ah, he, 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 oh boy. That's right, you don't test me. You don't test me. Oh, sigh. You don't do that. All right, he misses Blizzard, though. That's what I want to fucking see. All right, and then he's probably just going to fucking rest here, like fodder lax or something. I don't know. All right, he just psychics. Can I get a freeze? Nope. Now he gets to rest here like a fat bitch he is. Crit psychic, of course. <sighs> now he's in... Now he's in Tauros range. How much does Blizzard do from Taurus to ride on? I don't remember. Tauros ride on. Blizzard does 53 to 62. What health is my ride on at? 265. I think that's right on max roll range. What's that? 265 divided by... 41364. Yeah, that's right on. That's right on max uh, damage range. And unfortunately, there's not really anything for me to soft boiled up on. So. Tauros to Chansey. I think I'm. I'm in hyper beam range, definitely. But. The thing is, is that if he hyper beams, and that's a free switch to my. Uh, thing potentially. Do you like me? Gonna have to, gonna have to drop that. Duh. Gonna have to drop that in. All right. Well, I think he, I think he, he forces the fifty-fifty here because if he hyperbeams, then my uh, thing goes down. But then if he body slams, then I'm in blizzard range, which is mighty unfortunate. So he has Iggy. Which is at 50. Tauros. It's coming down to Tauros speed time. Man, I hate this gen. And then the unknown one, which is even worse. Okay, well, I need to keep Chansey around because I'm thinking it's Zam or Starmie. In my opinion, it might be, might be Snorlax. If that's Snorlax, actually, that's going to be really bad. Yeah, it's going to be really, really bad if that... I just said Snorlax. I meant Slowbro, so... I don't think Aggie's a good play here. Hold on, let me pause real quick. People are making a uh, noise up. All right. Well, it's, it's, it's time for the big boys to, to come out and make plays. Well, if he body slams here, then I'd fodder Aggie. So I think, there we go. Of course. All right, well, now I'm in blizzard range. So I'm going to go fodder Aggie. And then it's Tauros v. Tauros time. It's time. All right. Well, now it's now it's time where uh, champions are made. All right. I'm gonna body slam him right here. <laughs> Use Blizzard. All right. Uh, should I? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'll do it for the fans. All right. There we go. I don't think he wants it. I don't think he wants his Taurus to do that right now. I think he's probably going to sack Lax or maybe go to Eggy. And then his last might be a ground. I didn't think of that. I don't know. I'm going for Blizzard though. I actually think that's a better play. Because first of all, my Taurus is well trained. This is the same Taurus by the way that I got the week one freeze and then uh, if he goes to a ground right here, or maybe like a Zapdos. <sighs> Alright, I tried. I'm going for Body Slam this time, though. <laughs> Alright, well, I tried it once, and it didn't work, so. I'm going for the Body Slam now. And then, that's <laughs> the blizzard. Oh, boy. All right. Well, now I'm going to go for body slam. 
I don't know. We'll see. I think if his last is a ground, we have some problems. So, I mean, I just sack, like, Zam or something. And then... Ah, man. I have to let my Tauros get weakened, and then it comes down to a speed tie. Yup. 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 Alright. Well, we'll see what happens here. This is definitely... Uh, high pressure uh, situation. Situation on. I don't think his last is a ground though. I mean, it could be a ground because I've used a bunch of electrics in previous weeks, but. Uh, I think that his last is probably going to be. Like I said, I think it's either going to be Zam or Starmie. If it is Starmie, though, he reveals it here, and that's actually really good for me. If it's Rhydon or Gollum, that's really, that's really, really bad for me. But he's definitely taking his time, but I'm, I'm staying in. Alright, this is it. This is it right here. This is the, uh, the moment of, of champions. This is the this is the play of champions right here. All right, but I have I already have the ride on though, so I think he's either going to switch out or hyper beam me. He's either switching to Eggy or he's going to hyper beam me. If he switches to Eggy, I'm just going to sag Zam. And then if he hyper beams me, then I'm in a super fly position right now. Okay, he sacks Lax. Okay, that's good. I can respect that play too. All right. So let's see, Eggy plus. All right, I'm going for Blizzard right here. Oh, the Sacklax. So we still have Tauros here, but it's in Blizzard range. So I think now I sac. Now I think I have to sac right on, but this Eggy is a problem. That sleep powder mess was really annoying, but I guess that's what happens when you lose sleep powder mess. When you when you use sleep powder, actually, I think if he gets a low roll, I might be able to live. Uh, let's see, fifty three. I think he was at fifty four. So yeah, low roll, I'll be able to survive the blizzard, but I don't know. The young lord in me wants to stay in banking on the mineral and then just taking him out with EQ, but the good player in me doesn't want to do that. Hmm. If his last is Zam, my Zam I think might be able to pull through. Alright, so. I'm gonna let the timer go down a little bit and then I think Chansey will be better than Zam, so. I'm gonna let the timer run down just a little bit and then. Yeah, I think he's just gonna blizzard here. So I think yeah, we blizzard and then try and wake up. Well actually it doesn't matter because it's RPY. Oh, uh, what's Skype saying? Nope, they're not doing anything. And then yeah, now we are now we're back in the situation. So it's all up to the realness right here. More more realness. Mm-hmm. So Taurus v Taurus. I don't think he's gonna stay in right here. I think he's actually hopping to Eggy. Or a ground if I'm being real. So the thing is, though, is that I think it benefits him to risk it and then take out my Tauros than it does for me to stay in. So, you know, I think I'm actually going to Hyper Beam right here because it, it benefits, because I'm, I'm thinking short term right here, because long term, Aggie plus his ground will still beat my Tauros at this point, and then... Well, actually, I need Taurus to I need Taurus to win the game like a lot. 
So, actually, if I can get a soft boiled up versus this eggy, then I think I'll be in a in a good position right here. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna hyper beam right here. If I get the fifth, if I lose the speed tie and I get the uh, the fifty fifty wrong of him switching out, then I lose. But uh, yes, yes. All right, we did it. We did it. We fucking did it. That's what I. That's what I like to see. We kind of lucky. This Tauros is well trained. All right, so I go to Chansey right here. He sidekicks. He sidekicks me down. All, all he can do is boom here. So, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna soft boiled. All right. Yeah. See, that was the play that I had to make. I feel. I had to risk it for a speed time and go for Hyper Beam because his last, which is Aggie plus a ground potentially, or like Aggie plus a Mon that's faster than my Tauros, would be able to deal with my Tauros anyway. So, okay, he loses nothing by that. All right, so it's it's 2v1 now. And we shall see what his uh, last is. So... Uh, I guess we'll see. It is a Starmie. Fuck. Yeah, I, I had a feeling it was Starmie. But oh well. Uh, can I... Can I... Can I see a Blizzard miss? Alright. Well, that's probably going to be the game right there. And then... What, can I get a pair? Can I get a pair? Can I get a pair? <sighs> Sigh. Alright, so that was still pretty GG. So, yeah, it was definitely a close loss. I was playing for the ground. Uh, I probably should have... Nah. Well, actually, yeah, I think maybe I should have, uh, I should have double two ride on right there in case he did have the star mirrors in because I had a feeling that he was going to do that anyway. But whatever, so I'm just going to say that it's GG and then uh, dip on out. So, yeah.